cars levitating off the ground, holograms used in surgery, tractor beams pulling in enemy spaceships. These things may all seem in the realm of science fiction, but perhaps they're closer to reality than we might think. We have long been able to levitate objects off the ground. All you need is a big enough fan. But here at University College London, they're building devices that can go much further, floating objects into the air and manipulating them with speed and precision. So Ryuji, what, what are we looking at here? So this is an acoustic levitator. We use ultrasound to levitate a small particle to represent like a 3D image. That's amazing. So and so you've got lights projecting onto it at the yes. same time. Yes. So you know the color and the movement is kind of synchronized, so we can create a three D image by scanning the particles very, very quickly. Very cool. Using two arrays of ultrasound speakers, the team are able to create sets of sound waves. Where they meet, this creates a pocket of pressure that can trap particles. We start with first trapping the particle in a desired location. Uh, and if I want to move it from a point A to point B, uh, what, if, what we do is we discretize that line between A and B into several small steps. Uh, and in every time increment, we update the position uh, of the particle to this new, very near uh, uh, step. Uh, and then the particle jumps to that new location. So, uh, so if we do that then over time and we do it fast, then the particle starts moving. We can create all kinds of different things. Um, we can, uh, if we make it move really fast, then uh, you don't see the movement and you just see the final shape. The team have created a number of different experiments, all designed to try and capture people's imaginations. These are the butterflies you're looking for. We explore magical experiences for people, right? Um, uh, and uh, we think of this as magical because usually when you see the effect for the first time, you don't, you can see some output, you can see that something is happening, but you don't understand why it's happening or how it's happening. And that's the magic. Why did you get into this? Why did you start on this project? So, I, I'm really into like a science fiction movie. So I really like, like creating a hologram, so that's kind of my dream. So I knew like a sound, sound can levitate something. So my oh. idea is like a, if we can move it quickly, probably we can create like a hologram image. So that's my motivation. But while this might seem like a fancy party trick, there could be practical and even life-saving uses for the technology. I spoke to Mohammed Ghanem and Michael Bailey at the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington. We are trying to move stones within um, the kidney and help patients move uh, stones from the ureter out into the bladder so they can pass it without causing any uh, pain or discomfort or having them to go under surgery. I, I think this work is, is, is grabbing real objects, uh, stones that are millimeters, almost centimeters in size, in, in the body uh, and, and picking them up and moving them in a controlled pattern. And, and this has a true practical application. I, I hope it will be more like playing video games. You go to the doctor with a kidney stone and uh, he has the system. You sit down, the doctor has a joystick. He sees the stone with the imaging and you can move it with a little joystick that will just guide it in the direction that you want it. Their research is part funded by NASA, who have long been concerned about astronauts developing kidney stones in space. The bones are demineralizing in space and they're dumping those ions, calcium in particular, into the kidney. There's a, a good chance that stones could form. It's been a very highly ranked risk of space flight. Uh, NASA has integrated our technology into their ultrasound system that will fly, and in that way they downgraded that risk to an acceptable level for spaceflight. And it's not just kidney stones in medicine these acoustic forceps could be used for. 
we're looking into moving any fragments in the body. Um, we can also move and guide surgical instruments. So the acoustics can come in, grab the, uh, the medical device and line it up in the direction that you want it. Well, another possible application, it, it's common to swallow a camera and a pill and then uh, wait for that to pass through the body and uh, it's transmitting its video that's recorded. Uh, so we could we could do that in real time, say stop, and that looks like a curious area. Let's back up, let's rotate the camera a little bit and not just rely on this uh, natural process over, over a couple hours of, of transmitting through the, the body. So whether it's medical procedures, holograms, or just a bit of fun, acoustic levitation seems to hold a lot of promise. And maybe one day, tractor beams will be less science fiction and more science fact. Swish. <laughs>